What's up everybody? So, I'm gonna make a little series about how tough some of these Thunder lasers are. Um, I just received a shipment and uh, let me see if I can show you guys what I got here. So we just received a damaged machine. This was dropped off the back of a truck and is completely mangled. And we're going to get it back up and running uh, with minimal repairs and show you how stout these machines really are. Um, but we'll do a before and after and show you what's broken, what needs to be fixed, and what we're gonna leave alone just to prove that uh, a Thunder can take a beating and keep on going. So let's get some of this stuff uncrated. This is a tube up top, um, right there. And uh, obviously the, the tube broke, but the rest of it, uh, let's see how it looks. And we always hear all types of rumors that Thunder is the machine that is built like a tank. And here I have an example. Uh, a little backstory, this machine was delivered in Alaska, um, unbeknownst to the customer, uh, it rolled over at some point in time during delivery. Um, they received the container and the container was kind of mangled, opened a little bit, and once they opened it up, they were able to see. So they returned it uh, and we just sent them a new one. Now, that said, um, kind of wanted to use this one to show you how crazy uh, sturdy and how stout these machines really are. Um, this thing did a full turn, uh, probably slammed or, or rolled off the back of a truck. And how I can tell, it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Uh, it has a nice, I don't know, five degree angle to it where everything is pushed forward. The tube broke. Um, there's just a, there's a few things wrong with it and we're going to spend a little bit of time getting it back together. As you can see, uh, it, it, was, it was damaged pretty good. Things don't really fit right. The tube um, extension is off, welds are cracked. This door is barely on there. Um, Let's pull this off real quick. Uh, you can see that this took a beating. So what we're gonna do is the bare minimum. We are going to replace the tube. Um, let's see, let me pull you over here real quick and I'll show you a couple of things that are going on on the inside. So let's do a little bit of a, more of a close up walk around. So we can see that this is way off. I mean, the door is behind the frame uh, we've got a huge gap over here. Obviously, this is off. Uh, the tube extension, frame, uh, the welds are, are broke. And let's go around back real quick. I mean, I, in the back, it doesn't look that bad, but once you open it up, uh, we can see that that is awfully close to our mirror one and beam combiner. Obviously no tube in here. We will be replacing that. Go to the other side. Three access panel is uh, all torqued and bent along with the door. Uh, it's gonna be interesting trying to get these out. Um, but I'm going to do my best to basically replace the necessary parts on this and have it run without having to adjust the frame. And we're gonna see how straight the gantry is and how everything else has held up even though it was so damaged. Uh, one of the things that I can tell I'm going to have to do, uh, probably hard to tell on video, but our motor and the rails for the motor that drive uh, the left and right belts for the gantry system are bowed in. So that's going to have to be adjusted. It likely dropped down when it was flipped. Um, Belt over here, uh, we, we took the tensioners off. Uh, I'm gonna put those back on. But other than that, um, we're gonna do the bare minimum just to show you that these things can take a beating and keep on going without uh, much of an issue. So 
let's start there. Uh, I'm gonna start by reconnecting that belt, firing it up and making sure that we have good motion out of all access uh, and go from there. All right, so thank you for watching that first part of the 24 Nova rebuild. Um, as you can see right there, it is uh, up and running. So we are going to continue on with these, uh, the series, multiple parts of installing the tube, adjusting the belts and stuff like that so that you can see the process that it takes to get this uh, heavily damaged machine back up and running. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.